quick talk back when we go there. Son, you see what we talk about, avocado. No, 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 sir. Hold on. I gotta get the, I gotta get the volume. So I'm waking up this morning. I'm hearing that avocado. I'm not. Even, I'm not even hearing. I seen the videos. First, let me, let me just take this back from the top. So URL signs the deal. The deal with caffeine or whatever, right? They signed the deal with caffeine, and you know, caffeine provides their own. They got their own little production team. You know, they got their own cameras. It's bread. It's bread and caffeine. Like, it's, they got bread. They good. They, they got this. You understand? Fair. Fair. You know, I sign, a, I, sign a, I sign a rapper to my label and all that. I am going to bring him to my peoples, to my studios, to my engineers. You know, get him right. That's fair. That's no problem. Whatever. Avocado is, is hired for Genesis. Whatever. They do their thing or whatever. He says it went good. People say they liked it. I personally didn't like the production for Genesis either, but that's neither here nor there. So, hold on. Let me tweet this out. I'm live on Anime Caffeine TV. Auto tweet when I go live. Tweet. Tweet sent. Let me see if my tweet has been sent. Anyways, though, so boom. So, Avocado goes on. Avocado gets hired for, he gets hired to do the motherfucking Genesis or whatever. All right, I'm um, live. He gets hired to do Genesis or whatever. And, you know, after Genesis is over, he, like, you still working with URL, you doing the rooftop battles, but Caffeine's production you're not a part of Caffeine's production deal. You are a freelance. If you if URL wanted you so bad for production, they would have hired you to the URL company. Probably, maybe they did. You probably didn't want to because you're a freelance, which is perfectly fine. You are a freelance. But when you are a freelance, you don't complain when you're not hired. It's over, bro. They signed to Caffeine. They fucking with Caffeine. Caffeine got an in-house production. They gonna use caffeine for those things. You're freelance, those. You started on King of the Die. You're freelance. You're not URL, and that's what gets me tight about the culture. Mad people was defending him and shit. Like, nigga, fuck him. Even before everything that came out, fuck him. What the fuck y'all always wanna defend somebody for? Nigga, he is a worker. He is a freelance. He's not URL. Even like, he's not even from the jump of URL. Like, Twiz, blue collar television, like. These are the people we should be fighting for. Doggy Diamonds, like, these are the people that was first filming battle rap. These are the people we should be fighting for, trying to get them to be a part of the culture when the culture moves up. Not no motherfucking avocado. Feel me? Free Lance. Hear me, Dagger? Like, this is bullshit. Dagger, tune in, because you don't even know where I'm going with this right now. So, whatever. I was already tight about that. Like, I'm not defending avocado. Like, you are freelance, my brother. Then another video comes out. He's talking mad shit about caffeine and URL. Why are you talking mad shit about URL and caffeine, bro? If these are people you want to work for, why are you talking shit about them? Come on, man. I'm about to comb my beard because I'm getting tight. This is getting me tight, bro. Word. So, boom. All of that happens or whatever. Whatever. People want to defend them. Avocado drops a video on Twitter, apparently apologizing, right? While he's apologizing, pause, I'm lying, that's after, I'm, I'm jumping too far. There's a, there's a clip of him talking about how he fucking did gay porn or whatever four or five years ago. I think he was just shooting it, and he's like, oh, I'm surprised the battle rap community never canceled me because they're so homophobic. What? One, you're the homophobic one because you're we're expecting to get canceled for shooting gay porn. Do not put your beliefs on us in battle rap. Why? Because we black or we Spanish and we hood. We homophobic. 
Nigga, Misfit. The fuck you talk about? Misfit is here. J2. Holla at J2. Come on. Saracana. Come on. What are you talking about? Avocado? What are you talking about? You're homophobic, maybe. That's why you thought you felt so stupid that you shot gay porn. Nigga, you was probably tired at yourself. All right? And I'm going to have to blank all that out for YouTube. You feel me? You getting me tight, avocado. Word. Boom. Fast forward. My bro hit me on the Twitter like, yo, did you see the avocado? It comes out. Avocado was in the video four or five years ago. He, four or five years ago. My mans, you in your 30s. So four or five years ago, you was either still in your 30s or in your late 20s. There's no excuse. He's in the video talking to some white guy or whatever. Apparently... Due to more research, due to further research, the guy that he was talking to is a guy named 24-7, a known racist, whatever. The guy Avocado was talking mad. By the way, subscribe on um, YouTube. Avocado was talking so crazy with this guy. Like crazy. Talking crazy. They're making jokes about battle rappers not being good fathers, and they're laughing it off, but... This dude, but Avocado is okay with it because they're like, nobody black is going to watch the show. Matter of fact, let's watch the damn video right quick. Because this is out of line. Tune in. Tune in. Shout out to DNA2. Shout out to DNA2 for the footage. Too busy, bro. Too busy, bro. <laughs> That's avocado, by the way, in the middle. <laughs> they get secondhand reviews on Disney movies. No, no, so I've got a man called you. Yeah, no, no, I should put a pee here. No, I should put a pee here. <laughs> You're going to pee. You say all URL people are bad parents. All URL people are bad parents. <laughs> what? <laughs> Based on race? <laughs> Give y'all a little quick breakdown. Your man just said, or oh, I'm not even gonna watch that whole thing because y'all get the gist. All bad rappers are bad parents based on race. This is a man who started with King of the Dot, a Canadian battle league. Shout out to King of the Dot, but they are predominantly white league. That's known. You came over to URL, predominantly black league. That's known. To then come over here and talk about. They're all bad parents based on race and just laugh it off and shit like that. My nigga, get the fuck up out of here. Then you want everybody to go tooth to fight bat tooth and nail for you because URL's not booking you no more for caffeine. This is what I'm talking about, bro. This is what I'm talking about. And all of us is over there on Facebook defending him. Y'all, we always want to defend somebody. We always want to defend somebody. They always want to defend somebody. We always want to defend somebody for no reason. And then they, they, the, the truth comes out. They was never for us. They're not for us. Fuck Avocado. Nobody needed him. Even before this, when he got on YouTube and was talking shit about URL and caffeine, that's hater. That's white privilege. He feels that he has a privilege to work and shoot for URL. No, you are freelance. You are hired and now you're no longer hired. You are a dub now. That's what you are. Now you're not freelance. Now you're a dub. Go back to motherfucking King of the Dot, nigga. Shout out to King of the Dot, though. Salute Toronto, Canada. I'll fuck with y'all. But go back to King of the Dot. Because it's over. Go back to King of the Dot, bro. And I'm just so happy that even before this came out, I was already upset about everything that he was doing. With the caffeine and URL situation. I'm just glad that I didn't need to see this to figure out his character. That's what I'm happy about. I didn't need to see this to figure out his character. I knew he was funny off get. Whatever. We're going to move on from Avocado. But we're not going to move on from Avocado. Because now we're going to talk to Geechee Gotti and B-Dot and all of them. I didn't see B-Dot's tweet. But I saw I saw your boy um Geechee Gotti's tweet. And Geechee Gotti's tweet is saying to forgive Avocado. No, man. You saw what just... You saw... We, no, Geechee. No. We're not forgiving Avocado. We're not. We're not forgiving him, bro. He needs to step up. He needs to do something to gain our forgiveness. If if there's anything he even could do. Fucking make a YouTube video beating up 24-7. That's what I want to see. 
Because the, the dude next to you was the one really making all the comments. You just sitting there laughing and giggling. And that's what I'm talking about. In the times that we are right now, it's not just about you not being racist. You sitting there, you giggling and laughing. You may not be saying the racist things and people might vouch for you like Geechee and all that saying you're not racist. But you're not. You're also not anti-racist. Because if you was anti-racist, you would be there telling him, yo, my man, chill, you're wilding. Like, you're wilding right you're wildin'. They didn't want to tell him that, though. Avocado sitting there laughing and shit. Like, bro, that's corny, bro. And you in battle rap. You in the fucking culture. Or, you, you heard? We here. And I got my do-rag on because I'm about to get a haircut soon. But I just have to get this off my chest. Like, come on. We not doing us. Like, we not. They not ready for that, dagger. That's a fact. Tune in, subscribe, comment, send props and all that. You already know. Cash app. From his donations, Coach Talk Bev, IG, Caffeine, you already know the vibes. Regardless, though, like, Geechee got it, you tweeting, forgive him, because you've done worse. Geechee, you're from the hood. Probably the worst that you've done is hood stuff. Stuff that you, your hand was forced to do. Don't compare, don't compare the sins that you've done with this white guy's racism, bro. No, that's a dub. Let's not do that. Illinois, salute. If you the same Illinois that used to be in battle rap, um, I don't know if you remember me, bro, but Freako battled and all that. Battle P Easy, you was there, salute. Be willing to see you back in the culture, bro. If you the same Illinois, salute, my boy. We've been waiting for you. Why do people have to forgive anyone with no accountability? I don't know, Dagger. Why do we gotta forgive him? We don't gotta forgive him. Fuck that nigga. There's no accountability. If you was to see his apology. <coughs> not even smoking yet. The man puts up an apology video on Twitter. I can't play it because it's on Twitter. And he's talking about like I no longer feel like that. But you felt like that. As a grown ass man, you felt like that, my nigga. Like, there was no accountability even in the fucking, even in the video. In the apology video is where he mentions the porn, the gay porn. Trying to like, my nigga, what are you talking about right now? My man, you have no accountability. Geechee, really, my man. Geechee, let's be real, Geechee. What you did in the hood has nothing to do with what the fuck this racist white guy was saying on there, bro. Don't compare that shit, my nigga. If you want to get deep, deep, our decisions that we do in the hood, the crimes we commit in the hood, stems from a higher place of that, of, of, of racism. You understand what I'm saying? Like, come on, Geechee, don't do that, bro. I fuck with you, Geechee. We don't gotta, you don't gotta stick your neck out there and apologize. Also, I understand because you're from the West Coast and everything, like, you feel the pressure that you have to say something about avocado. Fuck that, man. If you don't gotta, don't tweet. If you don't know how to feel about the situation yet, don't say nothing, bro. Forget all that, man. That joint is whack, bro. Avocado, what avocado did is corny. Avocado is now canceled, in my opinion. And I don't cancel people. Because at the end of the day, I give people a chance to grow. There's nothing wrong with growth. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Learning. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with growing and learning. Changing your mind about things. That's okay. You can do that. But I don't care. <laughs> you could grow, but you can't grow with me, B. I'm fucking with you. I definitely give people an opportunity for growth. But, you know, shit hard out here, man. When it comes to shit like that, it's no growth. But, yo... That was my avocado rant. If you just tuned in, I'm sorry you missed the rant. If you've been here the whole time, thank you for sticking through me, sticking with me through this pause, through this rant. I just want to talk about something else now, though. This WNBA and the NBA player shit. What he have grown at that video? Exact. Yo, Hustle Hall 730. That's a fact. What he have grown if that video ain't dropped? Psh, probably not, man. That's the shit I be talking about. You. That's a fact. You got to get exposed for you to grow. You know, make sure y'all follow me on here, though. Make sure y'all follow, follow, follow. Please subscribe. Hola, I got to go get a lighter. I'm lying. The lighter is in my pocket. <sighs> now, nah, real talk, though. Would he have grown if that video dropped? <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself, brother. Facts. But, yeah. I'm tight because I did put money on the Bucks game yesterday. And I got my money back, though. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, shout out to the NBA players. That was big. You know what's funny though? Hustle hard, salute, salute, hustle hard, salute on the follow. 
You know what's funny? Your boy Kyrie Irving is in the crib right now saying, I told you so. Hold on. Salute, salute, culture.